Welcome to Markets.com. You're watching a company profile of the Walt Disney Company, one of the world's largest media and entertainment corporations. Disney was founded in 1923 by brothers Walt and Roy Disney. 85 years later, CEO and President Robert Iger runs the company, which is based in Burbank, California. When you think about Disney, it probably makes you think of the happiest place on earth, but the company's operations extend way beyond. Today, Disney owns and licenses 11 theme parks and television networks that include the Disney Channel, ABC and ABC Family, Soapnet, and ESPN. The company is divided into four segments, those being media networks, parks and resorts, studio entertainment, and consumer products. Disney is listed on the New York Stock Exchange where it is traded on the Dow and S&P indexes under the ticker symbol DIS. The company's market cap sits at $41 billion. Disney's vision for growth revolves around the development of family-friendly films that they can make into smash hits at the box office and later incorporate them into their parks and consumer retailers. The Pirates of the Caribbean movies turned out to be a multi-billion dollar franchise with attractions featured in four Disney theme parks and sales over $2.7 billion. The company has also done very well with the Hannah Montana and High School Musical series, which has three films under its belt and rumored a fourth in the writing stages. In 2006, the film's soundtrack was the biggest seller in the U.S. At the same time, the company is bringing back a vacation package that it offered back in 2003, that being seven nights in Disney World hotels for the price of four. In addition, guests that book vacations for the first three months of 2009 will receive a Disney gift card worth $200 to splurge on merchandise and dining. Although the company was upgraded to A from A- by Fitch early in 2008, Disney has not been all that resilient to the global economic downturn. In its fiscal fourth quarter for 2008, the company posted a 13% decline in net income, to which it cited lagging advertising sales and higher labor and fuel costs. Meanwhile, the company has stated that its bookings in the fiscal first and second quarters of 2009 are down 10% from the previous year, hence the reason for those super saver discounts. Of course, this comes as consumer spending drops to a 30-year low, hurting the consumer product sector that has been very lucrative to Disney. In the past, Disney has shown that it can overcome obstacles. Being a media company, Disney faces challenges from piracy and shifting technologies, and the company has adapted well by implementing its programming into video-on-demand services. As with most companies that are taking a hit from the global financial crisis, it will take a turnaround in the economy to really boost sales for the company. However, if the masterminds at Disney continue to produce films for those fanatic teeny boppers, they are sure to continue to rake in millions. Thanks for tuning in to Markets.com. I'm Luisa Nasuigar with this company profile. Have a great day.